But, yeah, or, I mean, you know, pre-osimium, like all the, the rare earths, instead of having them sitting you're there. You're making words up. No, mate, that's the way, that, that's, <laughs> the, that's they, the words they are. They all got really drunk and took turns at picking <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we call this one? <laughs> call this one dysprosium. It's like, yeah, that's cool. Have we got all the vowels in there? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, at least with Japan, they, they started stockpiling after the fact, right? So. Yes, but they they had the wisdom to say, well, let's buy more rare earths and stockpile it. Whereas the Americans didn't. Again. Yeah, yeah. So what's the impact? So um, China basically turned down export back to the US or the rest of the world. Well, and the, yeah. There's a well. The other thing is too on Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Thursday. I, di- I didn't put it in, but the Chinese said to the Koreans, "You're not to export anything that we've given you with rare earths in it to the US." Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's like me selling you a product and then saying, Jacob, you can't send it to your friends. It's, yeah. you know, like, this is what I'm saying. We, we, this week we're getting really to the pointy end where things are starting to get a bit nasty. And so, again, you know, these are the way, this is the way history works, right? Um, something's going to break somewhere and it's going to get a bit ugly. Um, and, you know, rare earths is potential because... The, the Chinese realise that they've got a lock hold on that. 